Today we're going to be coloring a music video for Yeet. We've got the brand new lifestyle album trailer type of thing opened up inside of the timeline here. And I have three clips that have been converted into flat footage that we're going to be recoloring today in our own unique style. I make these videos to teach you guys how you can color grade on your footage. And there is going to be a ton of sauce in this video, so I recommend you guys stay to the very end. But to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our project here. We're going to right click and we're going to create a new item and we're going to hit adjustment layer. Go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to drag this into our project and extend it over all of our clips. Now we're going to press C on our keyboard and we're going to make a cut for each individual clip. So each clip will have its own adjustment layer here, as you guys can see. Now, before we hop into this video, the pre-order for Fast Effects is now available and I've given you guys a crazy deal. If you add Fast Effects to your cart, you can add two other editing packs to your cart that are under $40 and you'll get those two editing packs for completely free. So if I add Fast Effects to my cart and then decide to add Opium Looks and CRT Textures, I'll get CRT Textures and Opium Looks for completely free at checkout. You guys don't wanna miss out on this deal as it's not lasting forever. Go down below and pre-order Fast Effects today. Now, to get started, we're going to click on our adjustment layer and go over to our Lumetri color tab. If you guys don't have a Lumetri color tab, go up to window up here, go down and find Lumetri color, click on it and drag it inside of here. It makes it a lot easier than rather having to search Lumetri color every single time inside of effects here. You'll just always have a tab. Now to get started, we're going to close the basic correction tab and we're going to open the creative tab, go under look, hit none, and then hit browse. Now to color this video, we're going to be using my ultimate LUT pack that you guys can grab down below. It has over 350 unique LUTs inside of it. But before you click off the video, you do not have to use my LUTs. You guys can use your own LUTs. You guys can use it without LUTs. You guys can use free LUTs that you can get from the internet. There are millions, I'm not even kidding, millions of free LUTs that you can get from YouTube. Go ahead and search free music video LUTs. I even have a tutorial where I give away three of them for free. But I'm going to be using my LUTs. I'm going to be showing you guys how fire they are. I'm going to go ahead and pick a completely random LUT. And you guys can use a random LUT as well that you have. And just follow along because the LUT is the base. And then everything coloring afterwards is where the real sauce comes in. All the minor tweaks that I do is where it gets real interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a completely random one. Let's go with 109 here. And we get this really cool grunge look here. It makes everything look super black. The contrast is super high. Hi. We're going to go over to basic correction. And like I said, this is where we're going to play with everything included. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the tint more towards a blue. And then we'll turn this more towards a green just to add a nice little green tint here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the exposure up a little bit and then turn the shadows down and then turn the highlights up a little bit. And then I'm going to turn the blacks up a tad and the whites up a little bit. Now, if we turn the contrast up, it's going to kind of get rid of the green look on his face. So I'm going to turn that up a little bit. And now if we go into curves here, we're going to make a three point curve by clicking these three points here on the green. This is going to allow us to play with the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows of the green. So if I go to the midtones here, you guys can see it's going to make his face completely green. If you like that look, you're weird <laughs> making Yeet look like Shrek over here. We're going to go ahead and play with the background here and make this very green because I like the way that looks. And boom, we have our very first look here, guys. If we go over to project, we can turn the adjustment layer on and off. We get the before and the after. Really nice green look. It reminds me of 2093, his album. Now moving on to the very next one here, guys, we're gonna click on our adjustment layer, go over to Lumetri Color, go over to Creative, under Look, hit None, hit Browse, and pick another completely random lot here. I'm gonna go with uh, 219. And we get another green look as well here. This one's a lot more green than the one before. The one before started off as black, but this one starts off as green. I'm going to go ahead and add lots of orange to this clip here. Go for like an orange and green look. I'm going to go ahead and turn the contrast up, uh, turn the shadows down, and then turn the whites up. Kind of get like a glowing effect here. And now what we could do is if we drag that up, hold option, click and drag the footage up to itself. We're going to go inside of here and use one of my glow presets. You guys can grab those down below. I'm going to go vintage glow and we'll do highlights strong. We drag that on there, you guys can see it's going to make everything glow. We have the before and the after. It's going to add a nice little glowing effect. And I love the way this looks. We have the before and then the after. Super clean, guys. Now, moving on to our very last one here, we have the house burning down scene. Click on our adjustment layer, go over to the metric color, open up creative under look, hit none, and then hit browse. And let's go with uh, 252. We have a very intense red LUT here. I think it looks fire. Let's go over to basic correction and play with it a bit more. I'm going to go ahead and just blast that red all the way as the house is on fire and then i'm going to turn the contrast up you guys can see how much more depth it adds to the image and i'm going to turn the blacks down and then turn the whites up just to make it glow and i think that looks fire there we have the before and then the after super super gas guys down here in the bottom left as well i have my brand new plugin for premiere pro fast effects that's coming out soon you guys can pre-order it right now and grab two editing packs under 40 dollars for completely free if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and tune into tomorrow's video as well i'll see you guys in the next video peace